Hi, welcome to my channel, it's Donnell. I got in a recent order that I made at Ma from Madam Glam and the box always comes busted open. Uh, let's see what I got. So it's not necessarily new stuff, new products or anything, it's just stuff that I wanted. It always come in this really cushioned box. I got the Milky White Builder Gel, and that's a big jar. I wasn't expecting it to be so big, but I've heard a lot of good things about their Builder Gel in a jar. And then I got Legacy. It's red. Oh, that's what this is. It's the 4th of July collection. I don't remember exactly what it's called. I'll look it up in a second. Um, so... It's the Legacy, which is the red. I'll swatch these in a second. Bright blue, and this is glittery. The red isn't though. And then it comes with the Celebration topper, which has red, white, and blue flakes. And Glam Parade, which is a silver, kind of holo maybe a holographic, type glitter and then this is an older color that I have wanted for a long time limoncello and it's kind of like a neon yellow green color and I know you can just use eyeshadow but I wanted their pigment palette I already have one but it's more kind of fall colors maybe so I wanted to get this one. This is the um, I don't know which one this one is. Yeah. Can't ever get my fingers in there. Yeah. some bright colors. It doesn't say what color. <clears throat> Excuse me, it doesn't say what color it is. No. Couldn't say. But Madam Glam, their gel polishes, I'm just I'm reading it off of here because it's easier. They're always vegan, cruelty free, palm oil free, 21 free formula, HEMA free. All that good stuff. So these are some brights. I really like this. So I figured I'd give this a go. They, they're supposed to blend and ombre really well together. So let's, let's swatch some of these. So I got a jump on 4th of July and I've already done like a quick stamping set while I was waiting for this. Um, oh my God, this is perfect. Red. Oh, that is just so nice. I mean, that's a really good red. And Madam Glam's gel polish are always live up to their name they are they go on smooth if they're supposed to be opaque they're opaque I've never had a problem with streaking or anything like that everything goes on So nicely. Look at that gorgeous shimmery blue. And let's do the silver. I 
on my left hand, that kind of orangey coral. That's a Madame Glam's tourist season. And I really like it. Now that is, that is a good silver. I'm not really into plain silver, but it has like a little bit of a holographic shift. I like that. The celebration topper, I'm gonna do it over a clear one first. Toppers are always kind of tricky because you you want all of that good stuff, you know. I like that it's not super chunky. So then, like, if you had it over the red, or even over that blue shimmer is really nice. And then I don't, I don't really know if you'd want it. Oh, I was thinking you wouldn't want it over that silver, but that's actually not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and see what. I almost bought their neon collection that just released for the summer. But I don't know, I just couldn't pull the trigger. So I like this. I've been wanting Limoncello for a long time and I've just never got it. So I'm happy with this one too. And then let's see what this looks like. Everything's been sitting in my mailbox all day. So it might be a little... liquidy. Let's do a quick little, let's see if I can find a, Didn't have enough for my brush. I'm just moving it around different ways to see how it kind of levels. I picked one of my worst tips to do it on. These have like this lip around the edge so everything collects in it. But you get the idea. It's a good Milky Way. Not the best at using that kind of back and forth motion, but figured I'd try. I'll give it a second to level. So that's everything today, short and sweet. If you like this video, Consider pressing that like button and subscribing so you get notified of future nail supply hauls and some DIY nail art. Until next time, bye.